Uh, hey guys, thank you for joining us with another episode of Yomo, a year of magical learning. Uh, we are actually on uh, book 178, uh, Reflection 178, I should say. And uh, I guess this is one that's more, it's uh, taken from a business uh, world and see and kind of take it and see what we can learn and uh, put it to use in our company uh, mindset. Yeah, so actually this book is, is kind of, it's kind of a, an outlier in this whole journey. Um, the uh, um, there, and there's a reason for that actually. So the the book that we're going to be talking about today is um, uh, Venture Deals: uh, Be Smarter Than Your Lawyer and Venture uh, and Venture Capitalist by the authors Brad Feld and Jason Mendelson. Um, so the reflection title of this one is is Think Again, uh, Take a Second Look at Your Dreams. Um, so this this book, if you don't if you don't know what it's about, have you ever heard of this book? You remember Amanda did this book actually? Yes, um, yes, yeah, I yeah, actually yeah. I actually yeah. read it because she yeah. she um she did this book as part of her uh core values quest. Right. The third month, like she chooses this yeah. book, and uh, so I I I took a look at it and I read it. Nice. Oh, so you get you did okay. You you've read this one. All right. Yes. So um uh so the book is about breaking down venture capital like how, how it works like mm -hmm. the terms the the terminology the how 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 vcs see the world how their businesses operate like what's important to them what's not important to them it, it's just really kind of a um kind of like a, a venture capital for dummies you know um a bit, right a kind, kind of book um and this is kind of i would say like the bible from what i know and what i've researched um of of you know breaking down the venture capital world um anybody if you ever Go try to ask like, hey, how do I understand this world? Like most people will refer you to this book and they'll say like, this is this is a really good book to to really kind of break it down for you to help you to to get your mind around what what this world's all about, uh, mm -hmm. the venture capital world. So the the funny thing is about this particular book, um, this is like a book that was between two worlds for me. Um, I actually read this one at, in the hospital with with Amelia um, and my favorite place in the little purple chair next to next to her isolate. And um, this is back still when I had, I had different dreams. Um, uh, you know, when Amelia was still alive, um, be before, before Amelia mm -hmm. was born, I mean, we've talked about this, right? Like one of my, one of my personal dreams um, was uh, always imagining myself as starting my own business someday and, and starting my own technology company and, you know, getting it, getting it funded and, and playing a major part in the growth. And, um, and I had been working on a project hard really hard and i've I'd, I'd spent like a hundred thousand dollars of my own money at that point in time um and had a had a partner we you know had to go to market launch like i was i was busting my ass on on a lot of this stuff and and um uh you know had, had applied for like different kind of accelerators and and um uh, uh those kind of like y combinator programs and things like that and uh, -huh. uh you know this is the world that i was studying i this is why i listened to how i built this every single day you know on the way to right. work you know this is this is this was this was my dream you know um uh before i met amelia and um uh so when i was in the hospital with her just trying to trying to trying to keep my before before the year of magical learning began after she passed away like there's there's two phases of this whole journey there's there's before amelia there's with amelia and then there's after amelia uh -huh. During the time with Amelia, really all I was focused on was was keeping myself balanced in the hospital and um, uh, trying to be there and show up for her every single day. So to do right. that, I I was trying to keep myself healthy, trying to get sleep, trying to trying to keep my mind engaged, and I was reading books like this and things like that, and I was you know writing and journaling to her. Like that was that was my plan, I guess, while I was in the hospital um, to try to to try to make sure that because it was stressful as hell and. And, you know, watching her go through what she was going through and, and being there during COVID and all the stuff that was going on, like, it was, it was just my way of, of kind of keeping my mind in line. And this is when I was reading this book. So I'm just giving you the context of my mindset of why I picked this book, right? So mm -hmm. the year of magical learning, quote unquote, really hadn't begun yet. It had, but it hadn't. I didn't know it, but it, but it had. Um, so right. um, uh, uh, that's, that's, why I, that's why this book is, is, in, is, in, is in the fold of, of this whole entire discussion, right? Well, as you know, um, I didn't start writing for the year of magical learning until about a year and a half later from from this point after finishing this book. So this was this was me in revisionist history with um, um like the first like 100 or 150 books or so that I read um, writing back in time and and placing this book with different with a different lens on it. Right. Right. And um, uh, understanding, you know, this is after Amelia had passed away and all this other stuff. Right. So. So with that context and in, in, in set set here. 
um, I finished this book and uh, I think this was like the second book that I read in the NICU and um, you know, everything was going okay about this time. You know, this was still, this was still my dream. This is still my reality. Right. And then, right. you know, as we talked about the atomic blast of, of Amelia passing away, it just blew everything up. Um, and, and I mean, I, and I mean that literally like it's, it, mind wiped like i mean everything that i cared about before just did not exist i i this this stuff like it, actually this book actually infuriates me today like i mean to be honest with you <laughs> um, uh and, and that's and we'll get to that as to why um but uh and not because like like there's something bad about it it was just that was that was my different that was a different paradigm that was a different person that was a different chris before before this whole journey like before meeting you before doing all the stuff that we've done before all the other things that have happened in the past three years of, of my life where it's been really focused on on living for two with my daughter and, and being purpose driven and, and focusing on my values and doing following Amelia's tracks, you know, and things like that. Like this was following other people's tracks. I'm I, I'm on a completely different path at this point in time in my life. And I, and I couldn't be happier at this, like just on the path that, that Amelia and I are on. I don't I don't love that she's not here. I hate it. it Burnt, hurts my soul every single day um mm -hmm. but you know this is what we have and this is this is what this is the world that we've made of it right and we re reimagined our life that's that's the book i wrote i can't imagine so right. the funny thing is about this book though thinking back on it retroactively what i found really really cool about it was um uh the elaborate rules and procedures um if you have to read this book and you're like you're like man this is like it's like it's like listening to the Lord of the Rings or something like that. You know, it, it's these these people invented their own world like they 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 invented the rules of the game. Whenever something a complication came up, they just, you know, kept adding more complexity to it. And they would, you know, more cap tables and more lawyer talk and more, you know, different rules. And, and you know, like and here's how you operate the business and here's how you do this. And here, like so much so they had to write a fucking book for it. Right. Like, I mean, to understand this world, all it is 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 people lending money to try to make a return like but but they put a they put this elaborate rules around series a and series b and series c and and when do you do this and when do you do that and like when how do you get an angel investor and how do you how do you you know uh structure your cap tables and all this other crap and you're like you're like this 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 is like this is like a this is pretty complex like they they turn this they turn this pretty simple concept into this incredibly complex thing because they knew like hey like this is how we're going to, this is how we are rethinking um, financing. This is how we're rethinking, you know, building uh, the the world uh, that we want to build and to say like, this isn't about, you know, just profits and profitability. This is about investing in, in people and investing in projects and investing in ideas and seeing what happens, you know, and, 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 uh, and all that other stuff. Right. So, so much so that you get to the world today that we have of, um, you know, people celebrate more about fundraising than they sell about celebrate being profitable or actually solving a customer's problem. They're like, so it's so raised. $25 million. Like, yay, you got somebody to pay you money to, to keep working on your project. You know, it's not, it's not, we solved problems or we, we, uh, you know, we made profits like, you know, and, and, and blah, 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 blah. No, it's like, we raised more money, you know? And like, that's, that's what we celebrate. This is the world that they've created. Right. Um, and, uh, and it spawned a whole generation of entrepreneurs and, and Y combinators and, and accelerators and all these other programs, like good for them. Like, I mean, I'm really proud of the venture capital world for creating what it created. Um, however, it it's still it's still a gatekeeper world right and it's still a world that's controlled by a few people telling other people uh, I, don't, I don't know i don't i don't i don't i don't know if your idea is good enough um i i think that you know i think that it's not so i'm not gonna you know help you out here or something along those lines it's it's the it's no different than hollywood you know in 1930s or something like that where um you know they focused on the hits right and they think that they were hit makers but really there's there, there's a billion ideas out there in this world right like and and there's a million you know, gazillion ideas of how to turn turn it into a commerce operation. So you and I have come together with the mission, and this is comes how it comes full circle, and that's why the the, the reflection title is is uh um you know, take a second look at your dreams. So as this journey has been going on, I took a second look back at what I was doing before Amelia, and I was like, I don't want that world, but how can we reimagine this whole entire thing? And that's what you and I have been reimagining for the past like three years of. How can we start a business without ever taking a single dollar from an investor and start with culture is the strategy and grow that into something completely different? It's not much different than the VC world of what we're trying to do with Clubbany. It's just that we're trying to start with culture first and let people beaver on purpose, right? And see what happens. We're not going to tell them what they do. We're not going to say, ah, your beavering sucks. Your, your beavering isn't, isn't, I don't think your beavering is going to be a hit someday. I don't know that we can make money off your beavering. You know, like we're just going to say beaver on purpose, beaver away, like, you know, and, uh, and see what, the, see what happens. But like, let, 
but let's focus on our values, focus on your values, focus on the collective values of the hive, if you will, and let you go be a beaver or a monkey or whatever you want to call it in, 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 inside the hive and, and make magic happen and let the serendipity happen, right? So, so that was the lesson that I, that I took away from this book is, is it was a way for me to say from where I was to where we are to today, uh, it's it's a it's a it's a different paradigm view on it's 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 a similar concept. We still want to we still want to build businesses and be creative and innovate and do all this other stuff, but but we don't want to do it with that model. We want to make our own model, and hopefully, and someday, this is the dream. And forty years from now, people will be writing books about how the club any you know uh, uh, elaborate ecosystem works, and they're like. They're like, well, if you want to be really good in the club and the ecosystem, you know, like this is what you got to do. You got to really like blah, 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 blah. And here's all the jargons that they use and beaver on purpose. This is what it means. And blah, you, know, you know what I mean? Like somebody else is the Brad Felds and the Jason Mendelsons of the world are, are club and people. And they're like, and they're explaining how, and they're explaining how, you know, all these people that are like, I want to be in club and like, I want to do this stuff, you know, like, and they're writing books about that. That's, that's the dream now. Right. So anyway, I'll pause there. i uh, love to get your thoughts. Yeah, so for me, I think that the, the I mean, I don't think I like the book either. I mean, uh, and I mean, not, it's not to say that it has no value. I I just think it based on what I <laughs> yeah, it turns the value to people who who are looking for it. But as as a member and this perspective from a company uh, aspect, right? I think this book, in a way, it's uh, it's not the right way, uh, and and I ask. For it's me, close. and I, I think it's, it's well, not really, because what I'm saying is like, um, one of our, I guess, one of the lessons that we we learned as a club member is we don't know shit, right? right. And uh, they don't know shit either. No, I get, I guarantee you, they know shit because the the fact that uh, these VC, right, they probably uh, got right like one out of twenty deals right. they fund if, if they're lucky yeah right and so you look at like for example um when when whatsapp right uh try to sell itself to facebook right right uh, it's the same thing with instagram uh or you know you're talking about like like uh yahoo right yahoo was uh, google was offered uh to yahoo to buy for one one million dollar right yahoo refused right so what i'm saying is you know these these adventure grow as well, and and the thing is, we don't know what's gonna be the future, and they don't know either, and they're just right. guessing. And the problem I see with a lot of these things is there are let's say there's a thousand VCs, right? A thousand VCs, and probably among the thousand, one or two will become like, hey, you know, I'm successful, and then the nine hundred nine nine other ones becomes absolutely no one hears about them. But only the one that made it got a story. And yeah, everybody thinks, sure. hey, the VC world is this way. Because the thing is, whoever didn't make it, but if you think about it, one out of a thousand, are you really good or just statistic? I mean, it's, it's just luck. It's just volume. No, volume is no, the key. It's, it's, it's the a, same stuff. No, it's statistic. Yeah. It's statistic, yeah. meaning right. that out of a thousand VC, right? Well, if you, if, you, if you and I were to flip a coin, right? You and I, we could play a game, right? One of us is going to get it right because there are so many, right? So many yeah. of us, right? Yeah. One or two of us is going to get it right. But the thing is, the problem is the the uh, the 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 media they spin it in a way that hey, you know, VC does this and they're right, and then the the one that didn't make it right, they didn't. Uh, so so I'll, I'll I'll give you one example. Okay, it's kind of hard to explain. Let's say. Um, let's say I, I go and I, I watch like uh, it's, it's an example. I don't know uh, where I came from, but it was you know it's a basically let's say I I get a, like a thousand uh, a thousand people right. I have an address of a thousand people. I send them uh, a letter. I say hey you know the let's say basketball game or whatever or some football game you know one team's gonna win right. I, I write five hundred of them. Say hey this team's gonna win. Team A's yeah. gonna win, and I write five hundred to the to the to another another five hundred letter to the other half of the of the thousand, the other team's gonna win, right? So when 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 the, when the when the two team play, right, one of them's gonna win. Therefore, the people who got the the letter, when the team wins, hey, this guy's pretty good. So I write so the next game. I write those five hundred that got the the letter that was I was protected to be right. They gonna say okay, and I send. 
250 to so, so next Sunday, next Sunday we'll do another game, right? So I will write right. another a similar, uh, similar like, hey, this team A is going to win to 250. Team B is going to win to two, uh, 250. So the thing is, the people who got the 250, right? The first time they got my first letter, hey, I, I, I got it right. The second time I got it right. And the third time, let's say I do it a third time, right? They go, they go, let's say I say, hey, you know, go into my my blog and, and it's going to cost you like 995 to get the next team. Let's say I do a third week, right? They're going to pay right. me for that. So they think I know how to predict anything just because I use that tactic on them. But in reality is I don't know shit because right. the 751 that didn't make it, right? I didn't tell them. Or they, they weren't in the equation. This is one of the one of the issue that um, and the lab brought up in his book, right? Yeah, that's because, I was about to say. I was very I was very to bring up the uh, the expert. You know, don't trust the expert ever, ever. You know, but but that's uh, that, yeah. so that's what I'm saying is the 750 that I wrote that I wrote was wrong, right? It wasn't counted in the formula of hey, this guy is pretty good at predicting who wins, right? right? Let's say I do the, the the fourth one, the fifth one, right? I nailed down to like maybe a hundred, right? For 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 let's say a hundred or even fifty people, the guy that that means I have a streak of like let's say five or six streak that hey I predicted all correctly, and that means that right. out of a thousand right only fifty only five point zero point five percent is correct but ninety uh, the the ninety nine point five percent didn't count it and that's the problem is people get get the the skew outlook of the VC, and then what happened is that these venture quote unquote got it, like in the in the one percent that got it. Right. They tells you, hey, you know, your idea wasn't good, and then right. everybody is trying to morph the way they operate, the way they 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 build their their their, their startups according to, to, to this yeah, exactly. shitty, yeah, yeah. shitty like because. <laughs> You know what I mean? Somebody got lucky. I mean, really. I mean, somebody it, like got lucky, and they yeah. tell you how to do it. So for me, when I when I see like these VC books, these how I build this, whatever, I see that's bullshit. That's bullshit because I'm, because I thing agree. is they are telling you that this is how I built it. This is the key to do to make it successful. But your success wasn't because you were any good because you don't know shit, and I don't know shit. They don't know shit either. Right. It's just by ha- by ch- by happenstance that they got it correctly, right? It's yeah. by chance they got it correctly. One hundred percent. And people what? don't look at the what, the failures; they look at the success. And that success becomes, hey, I will tell you the formula. And to me, this is where the entrepreneur gets skilled. And that basically, um, like diver- it's it's the the opposite of what we do as company. Because thing is, you 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 are doing things. That is not gonna work. And second, it's not what you really want. You you're not doing you you are a beaver, for example, and you're trying to do something else. Hey, you shouldn't be building them. You should be, you know, you crawling under 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 the the the, the hole and digging dirt or whatever. Well, you, you, you need know, to go raise yeah. you need to go raise money to go. That's what I'm saying. Fun, is they, 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 say, your, they say this is how this is how you build <laughs> like, this no, is how you build your <laughs> Yeah, this is how you build your startup. If you gotta go right. out there and do VC, it's like you telling yeah. me, quote, quote, as a beaver, I just want to be go beaver. out there and do something else that's not me. And to right. me, that distracts people from the real beavering on purpose concept that we are continuing to talk about throughout these 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 episodes. Yeah. Well, it's it's not even just that too. There, a VC is fundamentally limited by their monetary capacity to invest into a project. I get why they have to put some parameters and think that they're an expert and say, this is why we're going to pick this winner or not pick this winner or go with this project or not because they're limited by finance finance and they have to make a return for their investors. That's how this whole model is funded, right? Like that's how, that is how VCs work. What we're trying to say is like, we don't really care if you make money or don't make money. We just want you to be for on purpose and the byproduct well, of what you and produce that's out of point. that. That's is, my point, is, right? My point for we'll with, be with, this, with this thing is that we don't know what's going to happen right. today. We have tomorrow, no idea. Like, like, and, and no one does. My point right. is, no one does. Right. No one does. Right. No one knows what's going to, what future holds. And that's what I'm going to say in terms of if you're watching this and you want to build something, right? You don't know. And no one knows. No one knows either. 
So don't listen to them. So what I'm saying is, on the as long, as long as con- on a company concept, you have to do whatever you want to do. That is you. If right. you are a beaver, right, you're gonna have more chance of success by building them because you have the faculty that lends itself to doing that particular activity. You won't do right? it. Like, you like I told you, if, if you're a beaver, you have the the the, the trait of a, a water pelt, a water proof pelt, right? right? You can swim, you can stay in the water all day long, right? If you take a fox and put it in the water for like an, uh, an hour, two hours, he's going to freeze to death. He, he can't do it, right? right. So what I'm saying is, you know, no one knows, so don't go and chase these quote-unquote method of success because no one has it. There if they tell yeah. you they have it or they or for whatever reason you think they have this let's say i let's say i did the 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 con where i pick a thousand people and i just send them letters every week and predicting the score the predicting the, the winners of the the outcome of a football game right if i do that a thousand times and every time i split it in half right by the 10th time right i'm down to like 50 people even 10 people i have a 10 streak of correct prediction you think right. I'm a fucking genius, but I'm actually a con. And that's also the problem is the 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 media takes these ventures, right? VC that being successful by accident, right? Because you ha- it's statistic. You have one of them is gonna he's gonna hit, right? Yeah. When it hit, right? You take that as hey, this is a fucking bible of VCs or entrepreneurship it's or Elon whatever Musk, it is. It's Jeff right? Bezos. It's, you know, it, like they get, then they get these names. It's Andreessen Horowitz. It's, it's all these people that are, that and, are, and, that and are the, incredibly the talented, danger, you know? Yeah, yeah. Right. And the danger to that, and is the reason why I'm, I'm so passionate about this is the danger to that is you left your post as a beaver and you stop damning. You doing the foxy thing, you're doing the woofy thing, or you're doing right. the, the, the raccoon thing and whatever, right? It's not what you're not doing because you 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 were told this is what you need to do to become this, right? Right. But in reality, there is there is completely BS because I'm, I just told you the example of I, I took the lesson from uh, Nasita Lab, right? Because you're talking about like a guy looks like, hey, this guy is a very very good predicting, you know, who wins at the football games. So, uh, you can do the same thing with. Money in a stock market. Let's right. say stock. Hey, tomorrow stocks can go up. Stocks can go down, right? You can do that for anything, right? Because right. then it's the people who who got who I got the who I sent the letter to, you know, and I I got it wrong. They say just throw away. Ah, you know, this guy's no good. But the guy who got it again and again and again, it's just basically mathematic. It just filters through. It has nothing to do with whether I I knew my shit or not. I mean, I couldn't agree more. I mean, it's a so there's there's a book that that I've been trying to get you to read. I don't know if you read it yet. It was called The Long Tail by by Chris Anderson. Um, have you have you read it yet, or did you mm-hmm. did you end up taking a look? So that so we'll, and we'll we'll this reflection will come like in like book three hundred or something like that. But mm-hmm. um, so the long tail is um the best way to describe it is um you have a fat head and then you, it's a statistical curve and then the the tail never drops to zero there's always basically there's always demand for something out there right there's always there's always something for everyone as long as you're able to make it available curate that and make sure that it, they, they can get to it so mm-hmm. meaning me, meaning like you know in hollywood back in the day like like you would take a screenwriter or or a, or a play or whatever it is and they would go eh, it was the, it was the same models of vcs so we're like eh, ah, i don't know we've been making movies a long time man and we know what's gonna be a hit and what's not like so this is you, you can just keep on stepping or whatever. And it was so hard to break through because there was people that were blocking that, but we all knew that there was great writers out there. There was great, there was great actors out there. There was, there was content that people wanted to consume. Right. Well then lo- eventually comes along the internet comes Netflix comes, you know, who, mm-hmm. all the content wars that are going on now. You can find anything for damn near everybody at this point in time. And there's always going to be somebody that's going to watch the great British baking show or some bullshit. Like if you would have brought that to network TV and were like, Hey, I want to, I want to show the great British baking show. And they'd be like, what the, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not investing my budget in my limited time in my production studios for the Great British Baking Show. Like you know, I, no, no, no. We, we got to have hits on Thursday night at, at eight o'clock during prime time. We're not. We're not. We're not doing this shit. You know. So, so the long tail. The whole point of the long tail is, um, you know, and that you see it fall in every industry, whether it's music, whether it's you know, um, Amazon with books and and all the other stuff that they offer on on Amazon. Whether you, you see it with um uh music uh you see it with entertainment and and like basically 
there's there's some content for some there's what we're talking about right now resonates with somebody out there we just have to have a channel to be able to get it to them and make sure that that channel is curated and they can filter and find this content right and and it'll resonate with somebody um and and that's the point but if somebody was listening to what we were saying if we went to a vc and said we want to build um uh, uh, a business that has that 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 we don't ever hold anybody accountable and let them do whatever they want to do. And there's no, like, we have no idea if anything's going to be successful or not. We just want to invest and give them money and let them go do what they want to go do. Uh, they'd be like, that's fucking stupid. I'm not doing that. Like I'm not, and I'm not giving you money to go do that. They're going to be like, that's, that's insane. Well, the whole point of what I'm getting at is the VCs are the fat head. They, they it, like the old model of old Hollywood or, or the music industry where they would decide if you're a good artist or not. Like, but we all know, there's a million artists out there that are generating content on YouTube, on 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 uh, Spotify, on all these things that people want to listen to. That is the long tail of mm -hmm. all those other spaces. This is the long tail of entrepreneurship is what we're trying to focus in on. There is, everybody deserves a right to be creative. Everybody deserves a right to beaver on purpose. Everybody deserves a- I mean, a, everybody deserves to be who they are. I mean, to, that, to me, right. to me, that's just, this is one of the, the quests. Uh, for company is to help you become who you, be, be who you are. If you're a beaver, then you want to be beavering, right? right? If you're a fox, you need to be foxing. Whatever, whatever it is that you are, right? You need to find who you. Are. That's that's why I think for the for the reflection, right? You're talking about think again, right? Take a second look at your dreams because is it yours or is it someone else? Yeah, and, 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 or, and is there another approach? And, and and that's important because right. you you can't be lo looking at somebody's success. And say, okay, I want that, right? But the thing is, well, are they the same as you? They they got that, but at the same time, maybe like I say, for example, for me, uh, I mean, I think having money, like Elon, is nice, but I would not be him by taking his money and his responsibility, because people think like, hey, you know, I like I like I like Elon because no, you like Elon for his money because you want one of the aspect of you his like life. The outcomes. Yeah, but you like if the you think about it, if you have to become Elon, you don't want to be him. I don't want to be him because thing is Guys, for him. So to the office him, until his his, his life. His well, to, man, he is who he is, right? And that's right. fine because he made that way. I'm not made that way. I want peace and quiet, right? So for me to become. Elon to train my my life for entire entirety to to become him. I would I would not train my life to become him because that would kill you. that's not who I am. Because right. yes, I like money, but I would not trade my peace and quiet for these. I mean, people talk about him like everywhere. I mean, not not even not like all over the world. They talk about him and they piss on him or whatever. Some people like him, some people hate him. Right? Yes, but. He has the ability or whatever his DNA or his, you know, his, his, his gene, his trait. Yeah. He, he, <laughs> right. he wanted that right. and he can handle that. For me, is I just want to be left alone, be at peace, uh, do what I want to do, do it whenever I want to do it. Uh, yes, like I said, money is nice, but I wouldn't trade it. I wouldn't right. trade that. That's what I'm saying is you have to know who you are because let's say you look at somebody's success and say, hey, I want that success. But you have to take a look again, right? The success you want is that correlates to who you are. Right. If it doesn't, it align right, your values. I guarantee you, you're gonna regret pursuing that and <laughs> sacrificing who you are to become that. You know, you know what's funny when you just said that is every one of those how I built this podcast I listened to, almost every single one of them that took VC money, they say they regret it immediately. They're like they they destroyed my dream. I was beavering and I was having fun. And then I took on, I took on, you know, the, they, they, I remember somebody, I can't remember who, who described it like this, but they were like, it's like you're driving a car um, and, uh, and, and, you know, you're having a blast and you're, mm -hmm. you're, you're going the speed that you want to go and you're going the direction you want to go. And then, and then you, and you bring on, uh, you know, a VC or, or some other kind of backer. And then they're like, Hey, look, they take, they, they, not only do they, do they take the car, they throw you into the back seat and they're like, we're driving you where you want to go. You just you, you either can get in, you can either stay in the car, but you're no longer at the wheel. You no longer control where you are going. The creativity, the the things that gave you that that feeling of purpose and alignment with what you were doing gets just destroyed. Then it's then it's just how can I make the return I mean, for like, somebody else? It's you like, know? You, like and then it's they like take control you, they, of the car. Like, I mean, whatever you've built thus far, they say, hey, that's useless. Yeah, I mean that's that's the most devastating there to make money. thing anyone can say to to somebody. 
they're they're artists. Like they're telling because an if, artist. If I were to build something, right, and you tell me that thing is useless and you destroy it, basically you crush my spirit. Yeah. And and so that's what VC does. They say, well, well, you Your damn made thus, you made it thus far, right? right. But uh, I, you know, I'm just going to change it. I'm, I'm going to change everything. And so that basically discouraged all of the founders. I mean, I don't think any 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 startup has ever say, okay, well, uh, I love the way the VC does it, and I the the, the reason, and to me, I think they know the the founder. They know they just well, I'm going to get out. How else am I going to get what there? I want. I'm yeah, going right. I'm, I'm going. I'm going to take the money and go do the, the thing I want to do because right. That's the thing is. That's something that people don't understand and don't know from the outsider, right? Insider, they they have done these deals because they say, well, if I were to give away the stuff, right, whatever that I've built so far, it's devastating to me. I don't want to stay. No one, most of the founders don't stay. They because never stay. They hate it. They don't. They hate it. They, 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 watch their, they watch their art get destroyed. It's like if we gave Clubbany to somebody else, like that wasn't, that, that didn't understand Clubbany to the, and 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 wanted to and wanted to steer it in a completely different direction for profit only, like, like it would it would it would kill me and it would probably kill you to watch to watch you know whatever this becomes someday to just all all the all the conversations we've had all the all the all the purpose driven you know values activities that we've done all the all the the seventh generation committee meetings all the all the vision behind it all the studying all the learning all the all the collaboration all the art. That you bring up, I mean, you, just you, get like, shit on. You know? Exactly. If you're telling me today, you come, you come, company. Hey, you know, I'll give you a million dollar. I'll buy company from you too. I want it. And and and, but 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 this is this is the the sad part, right? The sad part is I'm gonna re redo your core values. <laughs> Balance isn't what we do. Beavering isn't what we do. And so for me, it's like no. <laughs> right. To me, that to me that's devastating because it's you stupid. are telling me to accept something that I have. Over the past two and a half years, ingrained in my mind as the as the foundations of who I who am. Not not, right. not not only not only that it is the company, but who is who I am. Right. I have been in indoctrinated into in term of these these foundations. Like for me, is I don't run for train. To me, I have lived that ever since I've I've learned about that from the Sita Lab. I don't run for right. train, and so it. It has completely changed the way I look at things, and I have completely changed my my mindset. And that mindset creates this peace in my head, right? right. Like I say, things changing all the time in the world, right? But for me, if I don't run for train, I mean, I don't think my life is less chaotic or more chaotic than before. I just feel like I don't, I just don't process it the same way. And so for me, it's like I'm. I'm like, whatever happens, okay. I, I'm. I'm still calm and collective. I'm at peace with myself because of that particular concept. And if you tell me that, you know, you buy something for me, and this is the way company works, and you telling me, hey, you you stay on for three years to teach the new people to come in, and you telling me to tell them, hey, right. don't be a beaver, right, don't right. Be, don't run for a train. I can't do it. I can't tell another person. What I don't believe. They take right? Let's say let's pictures. say I was to train another, like let's say they, they they buy the they buy the company, they buy the organization, they buy this tribe, and they bring in people for us to train. Let's say you you have your employees, right? And right. they say, well, instead of you training what you believe, I would you need to train what I will give you. Hey, we don't talk about the, uh, you know the 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 um. They don't don't run for train. They all run downhill. You know, don't be. You know, you have to like, we don't do that be yet. like everybody else, right? <laughs> right. And you yeah. expect me as one of the founder to train on something that is different from what I believe to the new guy. I can't do it. Integrity is one it. of our core values. We're not going to. I'm not going to lie to somebody. You know, like it's it's you're, you're, you you remember do you remember um Max Yoder's book um from uh -huh. from like uh it was called Do Better Work, but I think it was like like in the in the 80s or something like that when we were when we right. talked about that one. Uh, mm -hmm. my, my friend April that worked at that company, we talked about her a lot and like how much she loved the culture that Max built. And, and you know, Max successfully was a VC backed company. Max was an incredible cultural leader, built something amazing there, like just something amazing. Mm -hmm. They took they bought his culture and they and they sucked it into this other entity. My my friend that, that got sucked into that, you know, lost her culture. 
but she was like, you know, I'll give it a shot. Um, here we are. It's one year later, one, one year later. And she, she just texted me the other day. Like, I can't fucking stay in this place. I got to get out of here. She was like, I, it's, 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 I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate everything about it. I don't want to be mm-hmm. here. Like, and it just, it, it, that's the VC world at work. Max Yoder built, Max Yoder brought his art to the table and he built a culture of people that would, that they would still be working together for on, on any, I don't care if that project was done, maybe less than Lee was done, but they would still, that, that core group would have taken those same values and they could have pivoted and done anything and they could have right. done and they could have kept growing and they could have, and they could have kept doing whatever they wanted to do. But no, you got at some, at some point in time. And, like and that's, the, and, and the, the that's a danger. Like, that's a money. danger of having VC because for one right. is they don't know shit. And second is they fuck it up. They fuck they it They fuck up, it up. Yeah. Right. They, they, the they, thing they, is, they, the thing is like, Lesson Lee was the success story. The mm-hmm. reason why Lesson Lee was success story was, was because the of the culture. So yes. that means that, hey, if Lesson Lee has become successful and has become uh, valuable, right? That means that if I leave the fuck uh, culture alone, I can create another 100 Lesson Lee. Exactly. But no, you go, in there and you, <laughs> no, you go in there and you fucked it up. So that, hey, Lesson Lee is a, is a, one, it's a one trick pony. That's right. what I'm saying. Is it, it makes no sense from the pers- perspective. They could have gotten so you, much you, more you, out of it. You bought you bought this 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 mold this mold like you, you build this widget right. You bought this mold and then you fucked up the mold so you can't build the widget anymore. The, the widget you you, you 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 the widget that the mold like you you so lesson me is the product right. The culture is a mold so the mold makes lesson me lesson me become a product. People love it right. Right. So the thing is, if, if you're a business person, the the, the, the the smart thing to do is use a fucking sell the product and, right. and put another, another product out. Why exactly, do you yeah. destroy the mold but, and you build something that no one wants and it hasn't been validated and proven in the market? Right. That's and what that- gets me. Is It's like you telling me the best practice is to go into the company Fuck up the culture, fuck up the way they operate, right? Because you somehow was successful in terms of like out of a hundred of uh, VC that you uh, uh, like, a hundred of the funding that you did, right? One on right. twenty makes it because it, uh, it's a, a, you know, one, you know, the, let's say 19 flops. The one that made it was like completely, right. like completely stellar, right? That yeah. kind, that kind of like, it, it it covers for the losses, and then you got media coverage, right. and then the media co- now, and then you tell, like people, you, you, know, you tell people you tell people you are a fucking genius, right. and then you tell people how to do it, and then you go and then you fuck that. And so for me, you look at it for if you simplify, you simplify the concept a little bit, and you look at hey, you know, if Lesson League was a product, and they were successful, what made it successful? It's a it mold. People. It was the mold. The, people. the mold like, is a culture. The culture, the culture right. right? The culture. The people is part of the culture. It's part of the mold. So right. don't fuck up the mold. Just use the mold to build new products. So exactly. you can have you, you can have a, a hundred. You could do, do that in, in infinite, like yeah. that right. would have right. been proven. You can do a thousand, right? Right. You can do. It might, it might take another ten years, but like it might take another. It might take one year because now they you know have what they're doing. No, like, you, you have a mold. Like like, right. like Chris, like you and I have have kind of like stumble. And fit around with company for two and a half years. I know no VC. At the same ever time, at the same time, you have to understand that we have taken the core values quest and we have right. refined it, fine tuned it to the point where you and I can take people through the core values oh, quest yeah. and and tell them, okay, read this. This is what it is. Do this. Do this. And like, it's short. It's not going to be right. like two years. It's going right. to be hey, uh, three months, six months. If you want to build a culture similar to what we built. At, I'm, I'm doing, I've, I've already done it with my team. That's like my the, point. The, the, that I is mean, exactly my point. Is right. you are doing it, right? It's not like you say, hey, oh, I got to do that again. And it's not going to take you another two and a half years to build your team no. like that, right? I mean, we, I, we know what we're, we know how to to make this culture spread and, and to do what we and want. That's and that's exactly and, my and point. And, and is you don't need people, another 10 yeah. years. Right. Because you have and, the fucking mobile. Right? And Max Yoder knows what he's doing too, but like, and that's the problem is Max Yoder will Max never Yoder get another Max Yoder knows what he's doing. His people know what, he's, what they're doing. Right. So for for them to build another product, whether it's Lesson Lee or something completely different, right? I don't think it matters. The success no, no, it, do, it doesn't. There. It doesn't, except for their team has now been spread out all over the place. But and, I'm saying and, is, and if the VC the have model. left have right. have left the mold oh, alone, yeah. the model yeah. alone, 
yeah, it would are. have take them long to say, hey, you know, so just take lesson lay and give it to another team to operate <laughs> and say, hey, yeah. Max Yoda and your team, I want you to build you, me a new product. As many I, as you I, want. I, I, I buy your you company, right? right? I want you to build me a new product. Um, right. <laughs> all right. The other team, the, the lesson is, is great. I'm going to take it and give it to somebody who operates. Hey, you operate. Right. I want these guys, because these guys have built something great. They already knew each other. They work right. well with each other. They know each other's strengths and weaknesses. That's the culture. That's the mold. It knows yeah. where they need to do, right? So yeah. all you have to do is say, hey, look, you do exactly what you need to do for lesson Lake, but I want you to build me a new product. And so they blow it up. Like they, they continue they blow to blow it up. It up. And, now, it, and now you're losing good people, right? Yep. April, um, Max Yoda, all these people is they are disenchanted and they are completely disengaged with the, you know, they're not motivated to do anything. Right. And yeah. and to them, it, they're suffering. I mean, to the point where you say, hey, I can't take it anymore. You are basically fish out of water. You blew up their dam. And you and 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 then you were like and then you and then you put it, shipped him off to Antarctica or something like that and you're like hey <laughs> you're like what the fuck like you know yes I can go rebuild a dam somewhere but like now I got to go start all the way from scratch again like you know like we, we already had like we know how to build dams like and you just took I my mean, whole that's, stuff. That's, that's the thing is you, you you have you have to understand like you know you if you want a dam built right go to the beaver right. Right. So you, you, you don't ask, you don't ask like, hey, rabbit, go build me a dam. So, so that's what I'm saying is the VC, your job is to fund good companies. Don't fuck it up. You fun don't run cultures. company. You fun don't run cultures. companies. You yeah, don't right. run companies. VC right. don't run companies. And VC need to stop running companies. Because the yeah. thing is that the way that CVC does it, and this is like almost like 90 to 100% of the time, when they buy a VC, they brought in a CFO. They put a CFO on uh, on on the team, right. and then and then the board the, the board will have like they will put member board members on on the board, right? Mm-hmm. And they start and controlling the, the operation. <laughs> they, they tell you what to do. Yeah, what yeah. I'm saying oh, yeah. is they, they jump in the driver's seat of the car. My, and they my, throw you in my the point seat. is my point is you are a fucking VC, right? You have money. That's great, right? You want to help these people grow, stay out, feed them, right? right? But stay out of it. Don't don't like I say. If you need a, a, a dam built, don't go ask a rabbit to build it. But, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Is are you quote unquote the VC? Is your job is to build startups? No, no. Your job is startups. to invest in startups. Right. Why are you trying to run it? They, and and not only that, their job is they should invest in every startup. In my opinion, like I mean, anybody that comes to them with an idea, like I'd be like, here, yeah, here you go, try it. Like, you know, it, it, like give them a small amount of money. I don't care. But like the, the point is, is like, if that's your goal, like one of those is going to hit a hit. Like, like, honestly, like, okay, true. Like, let's, let's, let's be like, let's just call a spade a spade here. When there's no way in hell, like, let's just say we started off with Sportly back when we, you and I first started off and we still had the same mission, but we started off with that product in mind. And let's just say we went and got financial backing. Like that product fizzled out like not that not that we didn't try or something like that or not that we that like it didn't it didn't it didn't match what we wanted to do with the the vision of 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 the culture that we were creating right we've tried multiple other projects since then like it doesn't matter but here's the key is you and i are still together we're not like the, none of those projects had anything to do with the culture that we're trying to build and the, in the in the long-term vision that we're trying to create here like if i was a vc and had invested into you and i there's no way that you and i would still be a partnership at this point in time because we've produced nothing and we've and we've gained nothing we've we've we're not even we're not even on a path to somewhere where they can see the future I mean, you, you know you, like you look you look at you look at slack right right that's like you're not you're not oh. investing in a product you're investing guess, in a fucking team for sure guess who just left by the way um slack who the, the, the ceo stuart butterfield just left right. salesforce um uh as did um uh the former um the co-ceo um uh yeah. the for- and the former um yeah uh, i mean it, it, it's, there's multiple lesson we learn here right people don't leave because you you fucked up the culture they don't leave they, they, don't, they don't stay they yeah. leave right and you didn't want to be there and and the second thing is like you look at slack right slack it wasn't a, a intended product no it, it was wasn't yeah. most most of the product was by accident right so that means that you don't invest as a vc you don't invest in a product. You invest in the team. So, right. like you and I, well, you, we're talking about, hey, you know, let's in, invest in Sportly. No, you invest in True and Chris. Right, because right, exactly. if, sport, if Sportly pivoted, we, we build something else. 
Right. Exactly. <laughs> right. right. That's exactly so, what you do. So, you, so, if you're a VC, you invest in the person, like, and you, you invest you, in the culture that they're trying to create. You, invest you don't, in the culture. You, don't you, you don't, you do not invest in, a, in an idea or a product. Like that is, it's worthless. Like, and, I mean, and the like, thing is the moment you change the culture, right? The team is no longer the same team. So right. you're making a carnal mistake, right? Yes. Like you went on the news and you have reputation thus far. It's not because you're a fucking genius, right? You're lucky. Right. It's statistic, right? I just, I mean, everybody, like, there are some people, there are some fans of Nassim uh, Nicholas Taleb, right? There are some haters, right? But he have a good, good point. We're talking about, hey, if, if you have, like, a thousand people and you just split them up, this guy is going to seem genius to the, the, the small percent of the people right. that got the right letter, right? For, like, in, in that sequence. If you do that, those people are gonna look at you. Hey, you're a fucking oracle. Right. But no one talks about the other nine, like nine nine point nine five percent of the people. Hey, you know, you're a fucking idiot, right? Yeah. That's my point. Is the media only look at the the, the success one? Success one is not because you're fucking smart or genius, right? And I, I'm not saying I am either because I I I I don't know shit. And you no, we actually say we're not. It. We're saying the opposite of a genius. We're saying that we don't know anything. Like we don't I mean, know anything. And and, the, and, and I'm, yeah. I'm also telling you. Right, and the the audience that no one does. Yeah, well, they may think I, they do, but but they but they don't. No one I does. Mean, no one right, does. Yeah. No one. They may, they may does. think they do. They, they may think they do. They delusional. Right. I'm just, but in like delusional. The, I agree. the thing like, is, you don't even know if you're gonna live tomorrow. So how can you know that? Hey, I I'm gonna make this money or whatever. You don't know. You know. You're guessing, right? Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. That it's a chance. Whatever. But no one knows. No I mean, one like, knows sure, for sure. sure. Straight, straight up, I mean, I can't remember how many books that I've read at this point in time where, like, like thinking fast and slow, like the expert bias, you know, like or um, Nassim Taleb's books or something along. Well, it doesn't matter. Like, literally, you could you could almost put a monkey, like, uh, you know, that just randomly picks things against somebody that's a quote unquote expert, and they and they sometimes often have a better have a better success rate than than uh, than than the expert you know like, I, mean, like it's, <laughs> I, think, it's, I think they did an experiment uh with that particular scenario in stocks yeah they have a I mean, monkey picking stocks and have an expert picking stocks. that monkey beats them <laughs> yeah because they're because the experts like you know are are they're like it's there's so they're many reasons in why, terms of what yeah. they think they know right and right. so they only and the market isn't kind and so they they continue to double down on the negatives and they they end up you know worse than a monkey the only Although thing you, at the wall the only thing you could ever be an expert in in my personal opinion and once again i don't know anything but the only thing that i think that you could be an expert in is is a, is a kind environment um i think there are experts in chess and and but there's no kind of environment that that is and, pertaining to life exactly like right? there is no kind and envi business environment where you can life you know, you isn't put, kind you know, right so, right so, it's a wicked like, environment right it, so there, to there me is no, to me there are no there are no kind environment. And if you're telling me that chess is kind environment, it's because we made it up. <laughs> right. No, I yes, I agree. Like games that we that we so, so games, that, you know, that we that we invented are are the only ones that I think you we can invented and we, we make up the rules and we said you have to abide by the rules. Like why can't I I mean What's to prevent you know a king from 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 going to the other side of the country, uh, uh, <laughs> the, the side of the board, right? right. Why, why can't he? Why can't he? You know, you know, do do the same. Why can't it be like sunshine, like pa paper, rock, scissors, sunshine? You know, like it burns everything. <laughs> you know, like and you're like, no, 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 you can't do that. Why can't I do that? Like because it's paper, the rock, rule. scissors. Like, like, uh, <laughs> no. uh, no, no, I, like so. It's a, no, but it, so, so like, the thing is, we constrain ourselves to to create this quote unquote quant, uh, like kind environment. It's a pseudo kind environment because you you constrain, you limit it, you limit yourself. Right. Uh, but the thing is, there's no such thing as a true kind environment. I well, don't think it is. Like, that's that's what this book is trying to do. This book is trying to make it a a kinder environment to invest. But in it is it. You know, it it's, not, it's not. It's a, it's a, it's not. It's a wicked environment. It is. It will never be. You know, it, it, like you, you will. No one knows what's going to be the winner. No one knows what's going to be the next slack or not, or 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 whatever else out there. And they say they I do. Mean, they're you look, idiots. You look like, at it, most of the discoveries and inventions is always really by accident, right? It's it's and, loose and, shots. And, and it, it's one of those things that there are. I mean, I'm not saying it's completely like, hey, you know, just. 
put your hand in the sand and do nothing. You can be close to the discovery by doing more of the thing you should be doing. Then right. your chance of discovering increases, but it's still a chance, but the chance increases, right? Sure. So that is that is the work environment that we're talking about. So you you have to understand that I'm not advocating to be hey you know put your hands in the wind in in the sand and do nothing and just hey it's by luck, right? I'm t- telling you, well, it's, it could actually are, happen that way. <laughs> but right. it is like right. one in a million, or one right. in a trillion, or one in a gazillion, or whatever. I mean, there is a chance that you stick your head in the sand. But what's the what's the what's the what's the chance of you are the one that stick your head in the sand and become successful? Probably not very good. But but it's not even about being successful. It's about also being happy. Like I don't know if you're gonna be happy just sitting there motionless with your head in the sand. Like that's that's against the entire journey that we've been on you know like that's the whole point is we keep moving forward we keep we keep it's it to me go back know. to what i said before is as a human being we or as a, not even human being but as a as a i don't know I, I don't i mean don't don't you know uh you know kill me for this but i'm just saying is i don't know enough but i'm saying is any any entity whether it's a you know an animal or plant has has a certain characteristic, a certain DNA set, the, uh, the the genes and character set that need to manifest. When you manifest that, right, then your life will become completely fulfilled. It, it, it fulfill, like I Meaningful. said, the word the word the word the word is difficult to 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 get across it because you know it's not completely correlated right. correlated to to the what we mean. But like I say, like I said, I'm gonna ask you before. An example is if you have a wheelchair, why would you walk? Right? But because <laughs> because you have the physical faculty, the strength of your legs, you wanna walk, you wanna run. That's yeah. what I'm saying is you have to you want to manifest who you are. If you're beaver, you, if you, you don't, don't want to go you dig holes. It. You don't, right? Yeah. You yeah. don't dig holes. You don't, you don't like, you know, go and howl the moon. Why? Right? What? You, you, go, you, you build dams. Beaver that's must dam, right? And so that's what I'm saying is, whatever you are, you have to be that person. The, the, the aspect of the, the skew, um, I guess view that people kind of portray in the media for you to look at, is a distraction. And it's a danger. It's a danger to you missing uh, the point. You're gonna miss a point. Exactly. And, yeah. and and when you miss a point, right? You don't get to express who you are. You're gonna be like a donkey in a shed. You're gonna be running uphill. You're gonna be a beavering. You know, doing no who knows what. You know, yeah. try try to go and and hunt down a a gazelle or a hippo or whatever, right. and you get yourself smashed. To Smith Reams, and that's that's a danger, right? Yeah, it distracts no, you from who you're supposed to be and what you're supposed to be doing. And so, what we want to do from a corporate perspective is, you gotta look at yourself, think again, and look at what you really, what your dreams are, meaning who you're supposed to be, who you're supposed to manifest. Right. Right. And, and, right, and you'll, right, you'll, and figure, and you'll find that path. I mean, you'll find the path. I mean, like, uh, like you'll find yeah, the path. Yeah, that's clue. That's what I'm saying. Is you know, we don't know. Or the destination, but we know, you know, the footprint, the next footprint, right? Just right. follow the footprint. Exactly. And you know, you know whether you're not on the right track or not, because you just, you just know. Yep. hundred um, percent. Well, awesome. I think that's a good spot to end on, on this one. I mean, it's, a, that was a fun spirited conversation, but this is, this is a touchy topic that you and I have been talking about for years now. I mean, cause like we agree, I mean, we are in hundred percent alignment that there is a better way forward than this and to, and, and to focus on the long tail of, of people living their purpose really um, versus the fat head of people saying, this is, this is a hit and this isn't, you know, like, no, be creative. Yeah. Let no pe- one, let, ha- let, let no one, their purpose. no one has ever produced a hit because they wanted a hit. Right. Stay out of the way. Stay, stay the <laughs> hell out of the way of everybody else. So, uh, so the question we can leave with you all is, is uh, what would happen if you use your imagination to reframe and re-engineer and answer to your dreams? So, um, you know, just because, I didn't want to be a VC, do the VC model anymore. Did not mean that I wanted to stop creating. I want to be like crystal clear about this. Like, like the dream never stopped. I just reframed it. And like, and I reframed it with what Amelia taught me and what you and I have been focused on, which is 
be for on purpose, which is living for two, which is living your values every single day and focusing right. on, on your, on your mission. So right, you have to understand is to be who creative you are. And curious. Right. Yeah. You understand right, right. who you are. And then if the VC comes and then to do you, it your own way, find your right, own you find VC comes to you and they say, Hey, I'm going to change your culture. You know, right away to say yes or yeah. no. But if the well, it doesn't you, matter. Even if they if said you, they wouldn't, even they will. Like, I mean, like that. This is this is the fallacy of. Like, but the thing is like, that you, you know you know what you need to do, you know right. what you need to keep, right? And so you know what decision to make when it physically comes to you. It, it's 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 like I just I just finished The Godfather um this week, and um uh and it's like Don Corleone um uh, Vito Corleone you know where he's um uh you know yeah he'll he'll give you a favor. But one day he's going to ask you, he's going to, he's going to ask you for something in return. Like it is implicit. Like they may say, Hey, you can do whatever you want to do. You can have your culture. You can have whatever framework you want to have, but someday I'm going to call on that favor. And that favor is I'm going to sell your culture and I'm going to sell, <laughs> I, I, I'm going to, and I'm going to make money off of that. Like that. I don't know when it's going to be. And I'm going to tell you, you can do whatever you want to. If I'm a good VC, like I'm going to mm-hmm. tell you, you can do whatever you want to do and, and try to, and try to do, and try to make, have success or not. Uh, but I'm going to call in that favor someday. Like that, that is not what we're trying to do. We are saying, well, if you find your pe- your purpose and you're beavering on purpose, keep the fuck beavering for as long as you possibly can while you're in this world. And we will never touch that like ever. Like we will continue to support that with every resource that we can throw at that. Like don't ever, ever, ever like, you know, stop beavering is the point, right? Like okay. don't take that right. away from somebody. Right, right. Because at the end of the day, right? At the end of your life, you say, well, I wish I have another million. Do you no. wish you not have a million when you're on the deathbed? No, I wish I had the another day to do what that, I love to do. The, the only thing that to me on my deathbed is I didn't have as much regrets. That's the question that you have to answer for yourself. Did I have a lot of regrets? It's not about, oh, did I work an extra hour? Did I make an extra million? Did I watch an extra Netflix series? It's not, those questions don't matter at the end of the day. I agree. Right? You think about it, like, did I have a lot of regrets? Did I have a good life? Did I enjoy the things I do? Because to me, that's my, that's my, that's my perspective. I mean, it may be different for you, but for no, my no, perspective, I, I know. I, one, it's like, agree. okay, you know, okay, I wish, I, I mean, I created like 10 companies. I, I wish I have another successful company. Do you think anyone on a deathbed in the last minute of their life on earth is going to once wish to have an extra million, billion, trillion of dollars. No, no. Like, the only I, thing I, they I, wish is, that, hey, I live a life to my fullest. I didn't have a lot of regrets. Right? Want, to me, having a lot of regret isn't about how I'm making money. Is did I try it? Did I experience something? Right? Did I do it? That to me is to is the is the essence of the last day on earth. And to me, like, what's the point? Right? What's the point of living if you are supposed to be a battery in a matrix? Not there is no point. Like it sucks. That that that's 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 the worst thing you could do. Um, I mean, you know, for for all the faults that that Vito Corleone had. Uh, you know, when he died, he said life is beautiful because it's true. I mean, like I, I want to go back and look and, and say, you know what? I, I honored the promise of my daughter and life was beautiful. I mean, it was fun. Every mm-hmm. single day was mm-hmm. fun. Like, and like, hey, I don't get, I'm, I, I regret not being able to do it tomorrow. But like at the same time, I don't regret any of the other days that I've lived. You know, like that's, that's what I, I don't say. think, I don't think for me, it's I, for me personally, for me, I don't think it's about the achievement. It's about no. the attempt. Yeah, exactly. It's having fun. It's just enjoying what you're doing every day. Like, I mean, it's enjoying these conversations. It's enjoying, like, I don't want to take that away from anybody. Like, who are who are you, VC? And that's that and somebody. and that's the quest of Clubman is to right. to help you, guide you, to ask yourself, to find who you are, and to live who you are on purpose. To be right. very on purpose. For We're not you asking can. you to be us. We're not asking you to take on the core values of this and that and the other. We're asking you, what is your core values? Do you know? Can you tell me? What is it that makes you get up in the morning? It's not what ma- makes me get up that you that? take, right? It's about, I'm asking that? you, you know, what the framework, the, the core values framework asks you individually, what makes you the person that you are? And that when you leave this world, that you have the least regret. 
agree. Yeah. I mean, that's and that's that's the mission. I mean, we'll 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 see how it goes. Stay, like I said at the bottom down here. Stay tuned. <laughs> uh, <laughs> awesome. Uh, well, all right. That's a good cutoff point for the night. Uh, and uh, thanks for everyone for joining. And um, yeah, we will see you all tomorrow for book one seventy nine. Yep. Sounds great. Can't wait. See you. Good night. Yeah.